Now that we have a little bit of a better idea of what these different panels are, let's go ahead and import our footage. I'm going to drag this up just a bit to make our project panel a bit bigger so we can see it more clearly. To import media, there's lots of different ways we can do it. We can double click just right within the project panel itself. We can go up to file import or we can press command I on our computers. Command I for Mac users, control I for PC users. I'm using a Mac, so whenever I say command, you'll use a control button on a PC. Another way is just to simply drag and drop your files right here. So let's do it a couple ways. Let's double click here. You'll find a resources folder. It's a zipped up folder that I've put together for you in the supplemental resources of this course. So you can unzip that and you'll see there's video clips, photos, music, and a LUT. We'll talk about all these things throughout the course, but let's start out with the video clips. To select one video clip to import, you can just find that one and click import. Or you can select multiple. I'm just selecting the top one and then pressing shift clicking the last one to select multiple. Or if you have specific ones you want to import, you can command click, control click if you're on a PC, the ones that you want to import. I'm just going to select all of these and say import. So that imports all of our video clips to our project. Let's stay organized as we go. Let's create a new bin or a new folder by clicking this new bin button right here. You can also right click and say new bin, or you can press command B, control B for your Windows people. And then type in the name of this bin. I'm just going to call it video for now. And I'm going to select all of these clips, selecting the top one, shift clicking the bottom one, and drag it into this bin or this folder. We can open and close these folders with the drop down toggle on the left hand side. An easier way to import a folder is to just drag and drop it in. So I'm going over to my finder. I'm on my Mac. I'm pressing command tab. There's an option to do that. I think it's control tab to tab between your different applications you have open on your computer. And I can simply click my photos folder and drag it into my project. You can see now it has that photos folder. It also has a music folder that I'm going to drag in. And this is all copyright free music that you can use. I found it on the YouTube audio library, which is a free to use music library for your video projects, commercial or personal projects. So these are all the files we'll import. We'll learn about the LUT later on. We can organize the video even further or any of these files any further. I'm going to add a new bin and call it B-roll. B-roll is any of the video, photos, or graphics that you cut away to or you intercut with the main shot. For example, in a documentary, your main shot might be your interview, and then you might cut away to some action footage or some kind of video that describes more about what the person is talking about. And let me just open up these clips to show you what I'm talking about. So we have interview A and interview B camera. And these are the interview video clips. And then I have this B-roll, just extra footage that we shot that shows more about the person's life. It's the descriptor. It's just that additional footage. So I'm going to move all of this footage that's not the interview footage into a B-roll folder. Depending on how big my project is, I might have many B-roll folders. This is actually from a documentary I'm making, a short documentary about Anthony. And in the actual documentary project, I have B-roll folders for our street session, for his photo editing session, for um, when he was with his wife, all kinds of folders. And then I'm also going to add an interview folder to put this interview footage. The key with organization is that there's no set rules, 
I just want you to be organized so that you can find your footage when you're looking for it. And that's the key thing, to be able to find footage when you're looking for it. I try to keep my folder structure similar to how, to, how it is in my documents. So if you look at my finder, you see I have music, photos, and video clips. And usually this is just called video actually, but I titled it video clips for this folder. And that's how I keep the structure of my project file in my project of Premiere Pro. And then sometimes I have a graphics folder, sometimes I have a, an audio folder if I have sound effects or, or voiceover or something like that. Uh, but for here, we just have music, photos, and video clips, and that's how we're going to keep it here in our project panel. We can rename these bins or these files if you would like. So say we want to add more description. So here's photo one and photo two. We can rename it by just selecting it, pressing return on your keyboard, or it's the enter space on your keyboard if you're on a PC, and just typing in a new name. Photo of Anthony and Larney, which is his wife, who is his wife, at beach. Beach, let's spell that right. Photo two, open it up. I'll rename this photo of Anthony and Larney in front of building. So it depends on how much you want to get involved with renaming. Sometimes um, I won't rename files, sometimes I will. It just depends on how big the project is. Just a quick mention, a couple things you'll see um, in this project panel are these tabs. So we have the name, we have the frame rate. So this is the frame rate of the video that we shot. If I scroll to the left using this slider at the bottom, you can see lots more information. So you can kind of just see all of the different information we have for each of these clips, video clips or audio clips alike. That's how you import and organize footage. Please go ahead, if you haven't done so already, import the footage that I've included in the supplemental re resources and organize it in a similar way. Thanks and we'll see you in the next lesson.